Since snuffing out a bulletproof Kryptonian is quite a tall order, most supervillains find other ways to torment Superman. Throughout his adventures, villains have tricked him into committing atrocities, used his body to beat the hell out of his friends, and well, basically been very mean. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 Superman fates worse than death. 10. Red Kryptonite even though Kryptonite usually takes on a green hue, there are actually many variants. One of the strangest is Red Kryptonite, since its effects on Kryptonians are completely random. Like, literally anything could happen. The worst experience Superman has had with this form of Kryptonite was during the JLA Tower of Babel storyline. After Talia al Ghul forced the spandex sporting superhero to make contact with the rock, Supes became hypersensitive to solar energy. This caused the sun's rays to incinerate Superman's organs and muscles from the inside out. In Talia's own words, it may not kill you, but you will wish you were dead. 9. Mind Control For all the good Superman has done, there are some like Lex Luthor who fear the Big Blue will turn against humanity. And despite Superman's best intentions, Lex kinda has a point. Even though the Boy Scout superhero can bench press a planet and crush a diamond with his eyelid, his mind can be corrupted. Poison Ivy used her pheromones to brainwash Superman, forcing him to attack Batman. But one of the most terrifying moments in Superman's life was when his body was possessed by Eclipso, the embodiment of God's wrath. Intending to use the Man of Tomorrow's body to cause untold levels of destruction, Shazam was forced to intervene and tried to rip Eclipso from his friend's body. Unable to defeat the ancient demon, Shazam's mentor summoned the embodiment of God's vengeance, the Spectre, who had Eclipso imprisoned. If it wasn't for the Spectre's appearance, Super Eclipso could have theoretically leveled the planet in a matter of minutes. 8. Poisoned by Kryptonite for 200 years after William Matthews falsely believed Superman intentionally chose not to save his parents, he vowed to destroy the superhero. After being endowed with the life force of the old gods, Matthews, now calling himself Gog, developed many powers, including time travel. Even though Gog's newfound abilities allowed him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman, he was ultimately defeated. But refusing to give up, he went back in time to try again, and was defeated again. So he kept going back, and kept on trying. After battling Kal-El for two centuries, Gog finally emerged victorious in Action Comics 825. Gog believed death was too good for Superman, and so decided to break his mind and spirit instead. Since it took him 200 years to defeat his enemy, Gog thought it was only fitting to torture him for the same length of time. Shackling him to a harness and dowsing him in kryptonite, Gog forced his prisoner to endure pure agony for centuries. Fortunately, Superman was rescued by Doomsday. Yeah, that Doomsday. Allowing him to undo Gog's actions and return to his original timeline. 7. Losing Krypton all over again Brainiac is a super intelligent alien who shrinks sections of planets and stores them on his ship to study. When Superman discovered that the extraterrestrial despot had shrunken the Kryptonian city of Kandor, he was thrilled to see thousands of his species had survived Krypton's destruction, including his aunt and uncle. When Superman removed Kandor from Brainiac's ship, the city automatically grew to its original size and became known as New Krypton. However, unfamiliar with Earth's customs and laws, Several Kryptonians killed multiple cops, creating a rift between Earth and New Krypton. Lex Luthor fanned the flames of mistrust and eventually had New Krypton destroyed with a missile, killing most of the population. When the surviving Kryptonians declared war on Earth, Superman had no choice but to have his people banished to the Phantom Zone. It was heartbreaking to watch Superman fulfill his greatest wish, only to have it ripped away from him a single year later. 6. Depowered and Exposed When a sinister organization called Hordor Roots discovered Superman and Clark Kent were one and the same, they blackmailed the Man of Steel to work for them, or else they would expose his identity. Believing his loved ones would be targeted if his identity became known, Superman reluctantly agreed. Believing the Wicked Corporation would make Superman commit atrocities for their benefit, Lois Lane deliberately exposed his identity to the world freeing him from their influence. Sadly, this revelation turned Superman's life upside down. He was fired, sued, and had all his assets frozen, 
anyone connected to Clark Kent became a target for supervillains, forcing his civilian friends to cut ties with him. To make matters worse, he lost most of his powers shortly after. He did still have a little bit of super strength, but it was difficult to read about Superman nearly getting killed by a group of thugs. Lois Lane may have had nothing but good intentions, but there is no questions. Her actions ruined Superman's life. Five, being corrupted by the anti-life equation. One of the most dangerous artifacts in the multiverse is the anti-life equation. Anti-life is a mathematical formula that allows the wielder to control all forms of sentient life. Darkseid has coveted this formula for millennia, hoping to use it to bend all living things to his will. Because Superman has stopped Darkseid claiming his grand prize time and time again, the new god dreams of using anti-life to control the Kryptonian, transforming him into his right-hand man. The concept of Superman being turned into Darkseid's servant has actually been explored in the Elseworlds story Superman Darkseid, and it didn't go well for anyone. Superman is terrified of the possibility that Darkseid could use the anti-life equation to force him to kill his friends, enslave planets, and exterminate entire civilizations. Because of Superman's ideals, it's safe to say he would take his own life in a heartbeat to avoid becoming a pawn of Darkseid. 4. Trapped in the Phantom Zone Superman is not the only Kryptonian to have a no-kill rule. His father, Jor-El, despised the concept of murder and conceived an alternate punishment for criminals. Instead of executing the worst that Krypton had to offer, Jor-El had them transported to a pocket universe called the Phantom Zone. What makes this otherworldly prison so terrifying is that it exists outside of the space-time continuum, meaning time does not flow normally there. One second in our universe may feel like a million years have passed to anyone residing in the Phantom Zone. With nothing to mark the passing of time, it's no surprise that most of the residents go completely insane. Ironically, many incarcerated prisoners on Krypton preferred to be executed, believing it to be more humane than being banished to another universe forever. 3. Living in a universe run by the Joker after the Joker stole the reality warping powers of Mr. Mixie Spidlick, the Clown Prince of Crime reshaped the universe to his liking. Crowning himself as Emperor Joker, Batman's nemesis performed all sorts of deranged acts with his godlike power, including eating the entire population of China. He also made everyone else forget about their past lives, meaning they believed the Joker had always been the top dog. But there was one person who still remembered the original world, Superman. As terrifying as it is to live in a society where an omnipotent psychotic clown runs the show, it was extra frustrating for Superman since he knew the way things used to be. Superman eventually returned reality to normal, which is lucky, since it's a safe assumption no one in their right mind would ever live in a world where the Joker was calling the shots. 2. Becoming a Supervillain in the Injustice video game and comic series, the Joker administers a kryptonite-laced fear toxin in Superman's bloodstream, forcing him to kill Lois and their unborn baby. Because Lois' heartbeat was linked to a nuclear bomb in Metropolis placed by the Joker, her death detonated it, destroying the city. After losing his wife, his child, and his home in one swoop, Superman snapped and punched a hole through the Joker's chest. To ensure no one suffered like the way he did, Superman elected himself as the highest authority on Earth. When his old teammates questioned his extreme measures, Superman had them imprisoned or killed. Because he could never undo all the damage he's caused, this version of Superman seems forever beyond redemption. 1. Outliving everyone on Earth under a red sun, Kryptonians like Superman are indistinguishable from humans. But under a yellow sun, the solar cells charge Superman's body, giving him powers like flight, super strength, freeze breath, and optic lasers. Even if Superman is heavily injured, he will heal at super speed, as long as he's in the proximity of a yellow star. Not only does the solar energy repair Superman's cells, but it also stops them from aging, allowing him to live far beyond a regular Kryptonian's lifespan. So, how long can Superman live while exposed to a yellow sun? Well, depending on what comic you're referring to, it could be a century, millennia, or millions of years. In Mark Miller's Superman Red Sun, Superman lived to be over a billion. There may be no conclusive answer, but there is one thing that is for certain. Superman will outlive anyone he's ever cared about. Even if he brings world peace, hangs up the cape, and retires with Lois Lane, he is still going to outlive her and all his childhood friends, family, work colleagues, and teammates. 
For such an inspirational superhero, Superman is ironically set for a cripplingly depressing experience. And there you have it folks, 10 Superman fates worse than death. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at uslidogu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.